May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and a Trumbull County woman is sharing her story of mental illness and addiction to help others. Alyssa Zimbraski went viral for a series of mug shots showcasing her facial tattoos. Now, she spoke to our Jade Jarvis about how that negative attention nearly broke her and how she pulled herself into recovery. I didn't think I was gonna make it to C30. But now, just a few months shy of her 30th birthday. Just how pretty it is out here. Alyssa Zabraski has a new outlook on life. Um, I'm a completely different person than I was th two, three years ago. Three years ago, this was Zabraski, entangled in a web of mental trauma and addiction. I was really bad on heroin for a while, um, but I used everything. I was doing meth and I was doing Suboxins. You might remember these mug shots stemming from arrests in 2018 and 2019. They went viral because of Zabraski's memorable facial tattoos, which she got as part of a gang initiation. But this one says Aunt Murder and then Moet. And what does that mean? I'm not at liberty to say that. I've already been to prison. Like, how much more can it hurt to get my face tattooed? And I really didn't realize what I was getting myself into. Like dealing with hateful comments from friends and strangers alike. The things that people were saying about me, like, oh, she's always going to be a junkie. She's never going to stop using drugs. People are attempting to cope. Joanna Manon from the National Alliance on Mental Illness in Lake County says those kinds of comments stem from ignorance. It's more than making a choice. Folks want to be well and they, it's difficult. You know, there's a disease process that happens in the brain. After her arrest in 2019, Zabraski says she decided to make a change for good and got into a drug court program Sit. that connected her good boy. to a therapist good boy. and a 12-step program. He's uh, my emotional support animal. She's been in recovery for two years now and is taking the last step to shedding her old identity. These tattoos represent a time in my life that I'm not too proud of anymore. Tattoo laser removal company Removery is getting rid of her facial and hand tattoos as part of their free ink initiative program. So like that's where you can really see the difference. You can't just really four sessions in Zabraski says the removal and the support has done wonders for her recovery and mental health. And like I actually can sit by myself with just me in complete silence and just not hate existence. And she's hoping her story helps others make changes to feel the same way. If it only helps one person, I'd be happy. When you're in active addiction, it's not a life. You're just existing. You're going through the motions and I don't have to do that anymore. I can actually live in war, like actually have a life. Jade Jarvis. It's nice. It's really nice. News five. What a story. Thank you, Jade. And now we want to let you in on our decision making process here at News 5. So if you log on to our website, you'll notice you won't see galleries of mug shots. You know, the ones showing unusual photos because they don't inform the public. In a crime story, you will only see us post them online when police are looking for a suspect. Otherwise, we opt to use other photos or no photos at all out of fairness.